a bunch of sweeps. On the, on the sweeps now, it's got to be pad on pad. It's up here as a foul, okay? Get your mouthpiece in. A scheduled 12 rounder for the super lightweight championship. The challenger in the red trunks, Tony Lopez, the number one ranked challenger in the nation, and Gordon Franks in the black trunks, the defending champion, unbeaten, an 8 0 record. Lopez is 26 0. Two minute rounds. They must have a minimum of eight kicks per round. Nice round kick then by uh, Gordon Franks. Right behind that, uh, Lopez tried to throw a uh, swing kick. Franks moved inside, trapped it on his shoulder, and forced him down. Joe, really, as you look at these two fighters, they're known for their kicking ability. Both of them are. I think the big difference in this fight could be experience, but I think you'll see both men kicking very, very hard in this fight. Well, that experience is in nice favor of Tony Lopez. Today. He has 26 fights, 19 of them by knockouts. He's waited three years for this title bout. That's right. There are quite a few promoters that have tried to put the fight together, but uh, never under the right terms for Gordon Franks. And so Gordon Franks has been sitting on the title for a while. Rightfully, the offers weren't right. Red place on the right forehead of Gordon Franks already. Boy, I tell you, this Tony Lopez has come to fight. That's the way Tony Lopez fights. He just keeps on going. Gordon Franks has got the more polished hands and looks like he's not going to be intimidated by the experience. The thing that Gordon Franks has to realize, though, that the furthest he's been has seven rounds. So he, stamina-wise, has to wonder if he could go 12 rounds. That's right. Since he won the title, he's only the longest fight he's had has been seven rounds. If Lopez can force him into fighting full full bore for these first six rounds. I think Tony Lopez could very well take it away from him. Good right hand combination, right hand counter then by Gordon Franks. We're coming to the end now of round number one. Good left hook then by Gordon Franks followed by a left round kick. Oh, good left hook then by Tony Lopez. And there is the round end and what a first round we've had in the super lightweight championship. Gordon Franks, the undefeated world champ. Let's go back in round one, Joe Corley, and pick up that knockdown. Gordon Franks moved in with the leg on his shoulder. He didn't hold on to it, so it wasn't a foul. It was a very smart move by Gordon Franks then. So we go to round two of the scheduled 12 rounder. Again, in the red trunks, Gordon Franks. And in the black, Tony Lopez. Not a knockdown then. Had his arm hooked around Gordon's neck and kind of threw himself down then. All kicks must be above the waist or it's a major foul. And again, you have to have eight kicks per round. And it's a 10-point must system. That's right. Both these fighters are expected probably to throw quite a few kicks in excess of the minimum, which is 96 kicks minimum. Good roundhouse kick then by Gordon Franks. Landed followed by a right hand, piling up good points inside. Oh, nice right hand by Gordon Franks off the left dead. Oh, good left round kick then by Gordon Franks. At this point in the fight, he's certainly not intimidated. Good front kick to the face then by Gordon Franks. Not intimidated by the record of Tony Lopez. Gordon Franks can move laterally so quick to avoid the kicks of Lopez, can't he? That's right. Lopez looks like he might be a little confused. Now, he doesn't know really which kick to start throwing. He started throwing a back kick then. He saw that Gordon was moving out of the way of it. Traded jabs, and Gordon's landed harder. Both these fighters check in at 135 pounds. Lopez is tallest at 5'10", Franks at 5'8 and a half. One year difference in age, 23 years for Franks, 24 for Lopez. 
Both these fighters are throwing really, really very hard shots now, Gary. This early in the fight, they're not playing around, feeling one another out. Good spinning back fist in by Tony Lopez. Looks like it might have landed back on the ear of Gordon Franks. Many people feel this will not go the distance, and the way it's going right now, it may not. Less than 30 seconds to go in round two. With Tony Lopez' experience, if he has a real advantage, it is in being able to fight. Ooh, nice, nice combination. Two punches, which you would call unorthodox, wild kind of punches, followed by a nice round kick by Tony Lopez. Oh, good exchange, left jab by Lopez, right hand by Gordon Frank. And that is the end of round number two. Right away. exciting fight we are developing here for the super lightweight championship here in Atlanta Georgia Lopez in the black trunk Franks in the red trunk Lopez the scatter report is he is unorthodox but boy is he effective he really is what he'll do is throw two or three wild shots you know you would call him in a self-defense situation and you'd call him haymakers and then he'll come right behind that with a good straight picture book right hand he'll throw two wild punches oh good right hand then by Gordon Franks Tony Lopez will throw two wild oh. oh, beautiful jump kick. Gordon Frank just noticed his jump kick. Missed on his follow-up attack. Yo, I tell you, Franks is really quick. I tell you, he is a phenomenal athlete. I have, I have long felt that Gordon Franks was underrated. A lot of pressure has been put on him to face Tony Lopez, and he has, as he should, as the holder of the world title, he's waited until the opportunity was right for him, both financially and otherwise. That was one of the things, Joe. They don't know how... Well, we that got a, a foul. Sweep then went above the boot. It was a foul, unintentional by Tony Lopez, but it landed high. That's a minor foul. That'll be one point then, taken away. Oh, good combination then by Gordon Franks. Left hand, right hand. But you see, Tony Lopez can take a hard shot. The shot didn't seem to daze him. He is getting a mouse under his left eye, though, because Gordon Franks lands a good right hand on that. He could open it up, or a right round kick. Oh, nice jab, good counter right hand by Tony Lopez. Boy, these guys are two of the best in the sport. Look at that punch. And right, that was one of Lopez's wild shots, but he came right off it. Franks moved out of the way, but then taken advantage with Frank, uh, Lopez off balance. Oh, good left hand, right hand by Gordon Franks. I don't think Tony Lopez has been hit this regularly in any of his fights to date. Some people were concerned whether Franks could handle the pressure, the tension of a title fight with little experience of only eight fights. But there is the end of the number three. He's got the mouse coming in there. <clears throat> Boy, what a fight so far. Super. Franks is so quick. His hands. Now, his stamina has got to be a problem, though. I think he's got to get him early. Well, through three rounds, it's been quite a fight. Gordon Franks trying to successfully defend his crown. And let's watch this spinning kick. Nice roundhouse kicked in by Gordon Franks. Jump spinning back kick. You see it glazed off, it grazed off his arms, but it landed on the solar plexus. It doesn't look like it hurts him, but you know he feels that inside. Okay, Joe, after three rounds, who's ahead? Well, I just have Gordon Franks just barely ahead at the end of three rounds. 30 points to 29. I got two rounds even, and Gordon winning the last round by score 10 to 9. Our expert commentator.
commentator Joe Corley. I'm Gary Bender. We're in round four, a scheduled 12 rounder for the Super Lightweight Champion. Well, Gordon Franks is hitting so crisply, picking those shots well. Through a hard spinning back kick, hit and miss. Do you, you think that Franks will try to put him out early, figuring he may not be able to go the 12 rounds? Doesn't look like he is at this point. He's fighting like a real professional. He's throwing good, hard, pick shots. The uh, theory there is that if you throw a good shot and it puts a man in trouble, then you go after him. But you don't take any chances unless you have to. And Gordon Franks isn't taking unnecessary chances. Traded roundhouse kicks in. Both of them landed. Oh, that was a good kick. Good, good. good hook there. You think Tony Lopez can really take a shot. He gets hit solid and then comes right back. Nice spin by Lopez. Lopez has a mouse forming under that left eye. That's got to concern him. It's going great heart that time after Franks really laid into it. That's right. If uh, Gordon Franks keeps landing those good, sharp right hands on that eye, he could open it wide open. Gordon Franks started karate when he was 14 years old in Washington, D.C. He's the son of a doctor. And in his eight fights, he has fought some excellent people. Yes, he has. And he's looked very good in those fights. He's kept his, his calm. He's gotten a little tired in those seven rounders, though, and that's been the question in a lot of people's minds. Good front kicked into the body by Gordon Franks. Franks won the crown in 1975 in West Berlin. That's right. He fought Ramiro Guzman of Mexico City. A good nine-round action-packed fight, but nothing like this fight. And there is the end of round four. <clears throat> Boy, I'm impressed with these two guys. Mm -hmm. Sport will sell with those fights. Yes, sir. I like this about Frank's twist, twisted steel and sex appeal. <laughs> What was it then? Round number five, and Joe Corley, both these guys are well above the minimum kick requirement, eight per round. It's unbelievable in this last round. Gordon Franks threw 16 kicks. Tony Lopez threw 10. Gordon Franks has thrown 51 kicks so far in this fight. Tony Lopez has thrown 41. Just amazing pace they're fighting here. The question in a lot of people's mind before this fight was could Gordon Frank stand that kind of pace? Good counter right hand in by Tony Lopez. You know it's a red spot on, on Frank's face on the left hand side. Lopez will throw a spinning back fist like he threw then. Well there is no lost love between these two. Can you believe it when they got between the ropes here today? Right. Both guys are very quiet and very confident outside the ring. They're both very polite to one. Oh, good. Spinning back this then by Gordon Franks. It didn't hurt Lopez. You saw him come off it with a real good flurry. Both these guys can take a punch. You, you could see in their eyes before the fight just a kind of quiet kind of uh, cunning kind of just wait and see, son of a gun. Gordon Franks, I have to say, has more expression on his face in this fight than I've seen him have before. Oh, nice left hand. He jammed the kick to a left jab right down the middle. Boy, what quick hands Gordon Franks has. They are stiff, stiff punches. 135-pounder, if he hits you in the head, you think a 200-pounder hits you the way he throws them. They're very sharp and crisp. Those are the hard kicks that don't look like they do anything because the guy's in such good shape. If you hit the average man with that, oh, good right hand. If you hit the average man with one of these kicks, I guarantee you drop him to his knees. And it's hard to bring those arms up after taking a beating. That's right. You got to keep them down because you don't want those kicks to land on your ribs. Less than 30 to go in round five. Okay. Push. Push. I think the footwork of Gordon Franks is beginning to confuse Tony Lopez just a little bit. He's not really sure what to go with. Gordon's hitting hard enough coming in to make him wary. I knew that Franks was a good kicker, but I didn't realize how good a boxer is. Round number five has just come to a conclusion.
Well, Gordon Franks thus far has more than been impressive in trying to successfully defend his crown. And Joe, he's done a little bit of everything, but I think the most outstanding part of his game thus far is his quickness. He's very, very quick. You know, his hands are just amazingly fast. Some people have said Gordon could have a good career as a professional boxer, but he loves karate much, much more. You can see the poise of this man, 23-year-old Gordon Franks, trying to successfully defend his crown against Tony Lopez, and what a fight as we're in round six. These guys are pulling back nothing. Neither, neither man trying to pace himself any at all. I think both guys feel that they are in good enough shape to go this distance. Gordon Franks, when he came into town, he looked like his face was a little drawn. He looked like he might have been a little bit overtrained, but so far he looks like he's in excellent, excellent condition. That right hand touched Gordon, but didn't hurt him. He was moving away from him. Tony Lopez from Atlanta, and he's got a lot of this crowd behind him. Oh, good right, right round kick to the body by Gordon, right hand to the body by Tony. You know, Lopez, he can execute three or more kicks in one motion of that leg. That's right. At that point, he was trying to taunt Gordon, trying to get Gordon to come in on him. I think he's a little tired of trying to go in on Gordon. But Gordon is the champion. Tony's got to go after him. The footwork of Gordon's is very, very confusing. Tony looks like he might want to throw a spinning back fist here. We'll watch to see if Franks does have any stamina troubles. We're oh, good six. left hand crossed in by Tony Lopez. He's now fighting in the south ball position. I'm sure Franks in the boxing gym fights people primarily. Oh, good, another good left hand. This is the kind of pressure that people don't know if Gordon Franks can stand up under. His jab's losing a little sting in it now. He keeps going, but he's losing a little sting. And Lopez is hitting with that left foot. That's right. That left, oh, good right hand in by Lopez. Lopez piling up points on the inside. Franks fighting very clean there in the corner. Jay Will, the referee, separates him. Round six, a poor pace. Gordon looks like he's losing some of his steam now. It's the first time I've seen Franks a little bit shaken. Some of his poise taken away. That's right. This is where it would have happened. And there's the end of round six. Wow. I think that's the first time. Okay. It's the first time I've seen uh, Lopez have some real effect. Unbeaten Tony Lopez had a strong sixth round, and we're going to go back and show you some of it. The uh, thing that screwed Tony uh, Gordon Franks up then is that uh, Tony Lopez went right leg forward and started throwing a left hand cross. Tony Lopez also threw 16 kicks in that last round. Gordon Franks threw 13. And this is round seven, ready to go now. Again on the black trunks, the challenger, Tony Lopez. In the red, Gordon Franks, the champion. Looks to me like Gordon Franks, Gary, might be a little tired now. Good round kicked in by Tony Lopez. Now, this is the furthest he's gone in any fight, the seventh round. And, of course, we're scheduled to go 12. He's fought a couple of seven-round fights since he won his title, but they have not been fights at this pace. He established the pace. Oh, good right hand, left hand combination, and left hand hook off the back end. So they went to spinning bottom fist. You can see how hard that thing is thrown. If that lands, it generally drops the man. Of course, it's illegal in boxing, but it is legal in karate. Lopez has shown me the ability to adjust, to change his game as the fight wears on. Looks like a really smart move for him to go right leg forward, because Gordon is used to sparring with guys that fight left hand forward. The kicks to the body could be hurting Gordon Franks a little bit, too. Could have been a real smart move for Lopez to make Franks fight that pace. He's now making Franks miss some of his punches that Franks was not missing earlier in that fight. Good right here and then. Dave's Gordon Franks. Tony Lopez tries to follow up. Franks fighting back very strongly, though. You can see he's a little bit hurt, but very, very poised in that situation. Poised. Right, that's the word. Lopez just will continue to pour on that pressure. I don't know where the energy comes from. 
Good right hand in by Frank. Lost some of its power from earlier in the fight. Oh, good spinning left bottom for Kurt Gordon again. Lopez just continues to work, continues to work. He never takes a break. He's just relentless now. He's just pursuing it. Oh, good front kick. Those things will let tire you. And there's the end of round seven. The sixth round turned it around. Tony Lopez is making a strong bid to dethrone Gordon Franks. Let's go back and watch one of his punches. There was that spinning back fist off a right hand. It didn't land as solidly as he would like for it to, but it did daze Gordon Franks. And now we go to round number eight, and this is the furthest that Gordon Franks has ever been asked to fight in karate. He's gone seven, and now this is the eighth round of scheduled 12 rounder. Oh, another good left hand by Tony Lopez. It just barely missed. It was thrown very straight and very sharp, though. It's been an unbelievable pace so far, Gary. Tony Lopez has kicked 90 times with the fight barely half over. He's only six kicks short of having his requirements for the whole fight. You know, it appeared as though early it was Franks. Lopez is coming up. Well, I had the first three rounds. First two rounds I had even. Oh, good left hand in by Tony Lopez. I have two rounds for each fighter so far with three rounds even. So I have the fight dead even at this point in rounds and points 68 to 68. Gordon Franks has himself, Gary, thrown 80 kicks so far in this fight. Oh, oh right, right hand. There's two good shots followed by one of those unorthodox punches I was talking about. A right wild, looks like a wild punch, but it hits hard. Most fighters train with very sharp kind of sparring partners. You never throw those kind of wild shots. And it, oh, good right hand here by Gordon Frank. Snapped Tony Lopez head back, but he came right back with some of his own shots. Lopez really has some steam with his punches. He looks like he could go for 15 rounds. Landed three good shots then. The roundhouse kick was a nice kick following those punches. Franks doesn't seem to have the steam right now that he did earlier. No, everybody that, that had watched Franks and Lopez before this fight thought if, the, if Lopez was going to take it away, this would be the time. There's blood now pouring out of the mouth of Tony Lopez. Mouthpiece is red. And that's the end of round number eight, and what a round it's been. Okay, you can see that Lopez having a little trouble with the cut in his mouth but he's ready to come back for round number nine. They have to have a minimum of 94 for the fight. 96. 96. Have they reached that yet? Yeah, both of them have gone over now. Okay, we more for Lopez, 97. So do they have to throw them then? The oh, yeah. Oh, they do. Okay. It has to be at least eight around. All right, let's go back to round number eight. Lopez against Franks. There's that left hand, straight left hand, followed by a kind of a right wild shot that caught Franks. Now Franks is coming back out strong. He's putting some Christmas back in his hand. That's exactly what was missing in the previous round. That's now right. he seems to have picked up something. It could have been that he was resting, but it didn't look like it. Looked like he was tired. Could be a bad mistake for him at this time if he tries, if he's, oh, good right hand in by Gordon Frank. Right, quickness coming back now. Right. 
quickness and the crispness inside. The punches are landing pretty sharply like they were in the earlier round. Now what happened there? He tried to throw the sweep and landed too high. It was unintentional, but he does get fouled for the that he does get a minor foul. That is one point then. Take it away from Lopez. That's the second time that's happened to him in an otherwise even round. That would cause him to lose the round. It's a 10-point must system. Oh, good left-hand jab then snapped Lopez head back. Good work inside then by Gordon Frank to Lopez hanging in there. Boy, Frank, he's just like a workman out there. He just does a workman-like job. That's right. No expression in the face at all. Steel, steel eyes. Little blood coming out of Gordon Frank's nose now. Little blood coming out of Tony Lopez's mouth. These guys have got to be feeling the effects of these. I wouldn't want to have either one of their bodies tomorrow morning because they are going to be sore. Well, this is predicted to be this type of fight. There's been no disappointment. A lot of them figured it wouldn't go the distance. It may not yet as we're in the ninth round. Frank's beginning to lose a little steam now. Lopez may be too. He's not really pressing his advantage right now. Oh, good left hand in by Lopez. Round nine. Oh, good right hand close. in close. Lopez taking a fairly shot, hard shot from there. If it doesn't, it's certainly a loss to someone. Boy, they, I tell you, I'm impressed with Round number 10, a scheduled 12 rounder for the Super Lightweight Championship. And it's equal. Boy, it is close right it, now. It really is. I have Gordon Frank's head by one slim point, 88 points to 87. And that could be that minor foul that Tony Lopez picked up. On my scorecard, I haven't even uh, I haven't even kept those taken those into consideration. Both these guys already have kicked more than 96 times each. So it's been an unbelievable pace. Tony Lopez has kicked 117 times so far. Good right hand by Lopez. Gordon Franks has kicked 114 times so far in this fight. And you have to kick eight minimum per round, so they're really ahead of that pace. Oh, good. He staggered Tony Lopez in good left hand, right hand combination. Oh, he's working on Tony Lopez inside now. Lopez is trying to cover up. Looks like he's got it back now. He doesn't look hurt anymore. He gets it back in a hurry. I believe he's got a cut under that left eye, though, on the cheek. He does. Lopez is cut. Might be where that mouse has been forming. It is. It is where it's been forming. What a pace. What a pace. Can you imagine? Oh, good right hand then by Gordon Franks. Another good right hand by Tony Lopez. Can you imagine in, a, in 24 minutes, only 24 minutes of fighting, these guys have got to kick at least 96 times each. Oh, good, strong spinning back fist. Gordon Franks very wisely went under that shot. Chanting for Tony Lopez now. It's a partisan crowd here. A hometown boy, Tony Lopez in Atlanta. But he's got his work cut out if he's going to take this one away from Gordon Franks. There's quite an argument going on here in the 10th round. These rounds seem to go by so fast, too, sitting out here. We're coming to the end of round number 10. It's a ball buster, huh? Mm -hmm. Sure. Sweeps. Those are. You call them major? 
Wait a minute. Ask him if they're major or minor. All right, a look at the champion, Gordon Franks on the left, Tony Lopez on the right, and the people here in the Georgia Tech Coliseum have gotten their money's worth. They have. I tell you, at the end of this last round, the way these guys looked at each other, they still dislike each other after this far, after this much of the fight. You could see the jolting punch thrown that time by Gordon Good, Franks. sharp left hand, right hand combination. That's the one that staggered Lopez in the last round. The next to last round of a scheduled 12 rounder for the Super Lightweight Championship. National Karate Association. We're in Atlanta, Georgia, the Georgia Tech Coliseum. I'm Gary Bender along with Joe Corley. Both these men have not been beaten. They're undefeated coming into this fight. Franks 8-0, Lopez 26-0. It looks again like Gordon Franks has lost a little snap in his kicks. He's just kind of laying them out there. He's done that a couple other times, Gary, and then he's come back and thrown him very sharp. Right, he had a tough 10th round. We talk about a man being poised if he knows he's a little tar tired and he lays out. That's the mark of a true champion. Good left hand then by Tony Lopez, followed with a good right hand. Round kick, Gordon Franks ducked under the round kick, slipped over the top of his head. But I tell you, Franks really used that well to parry him off to keep from getting in further trouble. That's right, he didn't stay in that position. He moved right out with that marvelous footwork he's got. Oh, good left jab inside, but Lopez just keeps on coming. What a fight here in the 11th round. I tell you what, if you could have two world champions, I would pick both these guys to reign at the same time. Oh, good inside work now by Gordon Funk. Good body kick by Tony Lopez. Funk kick to the body. What's going to then look like to the viewers that that's going to hurt? But I tell you, if you hit the average guy, oh, good right hand counter. If you hit the average man with one of those kicks, believe me, you're dropping his knees. You can see that Lopez is kind of rubbing that eye that's cut under the left hand side. It may be starting to bother him a little bit when your eye swells up and gets in the way of your vision. It starts to irritate. It is slow. Oh, good shot by both men, pushing by Tony Lopez. And there's the end of round 11, one to go. Was that, was that a major or minor? But it, Are you calling a major a or a minor we're, foul? We're Which one do you want it to be, one or five points? Okay. One point. All right, we're just He's checking, Bob. Earlier foul. in the fight, we had heard that maybe those were major fouls, but they're not. We're okay. That's a discretionary thing by the center referee. Okay. Well, we'll leave it like it is. We were right. Right. The 12th and final round, Joe Corley. Who's leading going into it? I've got Gordon Franks ahead by two points, 108 points to 106. That's how close it is as we come to the 12th round, two minutes remaining. He has dispelled any thoughts in anybody's mind that he was not ready for this fight. I'll tell you that right now. There's been times where it looked like one fighter would come on strong and the other would battle back. Earlier, Franks looked very quick, and Lopez hurt him, and now Franks has regained that poise that he's so well known for. I tell you, and the, and the pace once again, 152 kicks by Tony Lopez, 143 kicks by Gordon Franks. Each man's required to throw 96, and they have just gone crazy. Good hard kicks, both of them landing good solid kicks to the body, to the head. More solid kicks to the body because the kicks to the head have a longer distance to travel. Oh, good left hand counter then by Gordon Frank. Lopez smiling at him. Good front kick to the body. One minute left now in the 12th round. Oh, good left hand then. Lopez head back. He went ahead and threw his own punch. Frank's trying to close it out here. Hang on to his title. I have never seen a fight at this pace. Never. 
And now Lopez, unbelievable. he's got to finish it here to dethrone him is coming after it. The crowd is on its feet here now. This has got to be one of the better fights I've ever seen from anybody, any sport, in any weight division. Oh, good left hook in by Tiger Lopez, got him back on the rope. Jay Well now separates him, about 20 seconds to go now here in round 12. And oh, good right round, round now punched by Tony Lopez. This is some the final round. Is out. Everybody's on their feet. If anybody thinks Gordon Franks couldn't take it, boy, they are in for a surprise tonight. And the round is coming to a close here. What a fight. We'll be back with a decision in this super lightweight championship bout in just a moment. My name's Hal Needham. You know, for